Don't worry, you're not imagining things. This really is a seven feet tall bear in a kilt playing the bagpipes. Welcome to five. Onto the game now, and Gary Holt's 50 yard pass to Jerome Verai set the Frenchman free to open the scoring for Kilmarnock in just under two minutes of play. He doesn't score very often, but that comes hot on the heels of his goal in the Cup at Stranraer last week. He showed the speed to beat Miller and the composure to slot it past the goalkeeper. Keighley were trying to come through a 10th consecutive league game without losing and their early domination suggested that would be the case. Westwater certainly had his hands full early on. The Paris veteran keeper proved time and time again that Keighley might not have it all their own way. That was Ali Mitchell's stinging effort there. The turning point in this game came as Stuart Petrie picked up the clearance in midfield and charged all the way towards goal. He rounded Mark Riley en route and the drive was dealt with well by Colin Meldrum who was in for the injured Gordon Marshall. It was this effort which started the period of the game which the Pirates dominated and it led to the corner which produced the equaliser scored by Dave Barnett four minutes before the interval. The ex Birmingham City centre back on the end of Hamish French's corner and it couldn't have been easier for him. Kilmarnock in trouble at this point. Watch how Colin Meldrum creates havoc here in his own area. A fresh air kick by the keeper. Shaw can't get past him and Smith should have finished that one. Bert Payton's men should certainly have gone into the break ahead. Petrie's cross should have been buried by Andy Smith that time as well. But he blew it. He scored five goals in the Tenant Scottish Cup last week. But he's not playing Edinburgh City this week. But that wasn't far away to be fair. Kilmarnock found their feet for a time early in the second half. And the man going for a century of Premier goals, Paul Wright, almost hit the target. But he stays on 99. This was a busy spell in Westwater's area. The fabulous Baker cross met by Mark Roberts and it's straight at the goalkeeper. Frustration for the front man. But Bert Payton's men were showing the fight which he says has been missing in recent weeks and they took the lead for the first time in the game through Andy Smith. In the middle of the second half, it's 2-1 Dunfermline. Smith's sixth goal in two games, his 19th of the season. His appetite for goals certainly isn't flagging. And despite the challenge, George Shaw got his pass through to Smith and he picked his spot. Smith was involved in the setup of Dunfermline's third goal, a 1 2 with Shaw, and then Hamish French took the ball wide into space before sending the ball over for George Shaw, and he couldn't miss from there. 3 1 Dunfermline. Shaw celebrates his first goal for the club before almost having his head pulled off by a steward and then substitute David Bingham. But the wee man kept on smiling. Shaw set up the second goal and now scores the third, securing a much-needed win bonus for him and his colleagues. Unfortunately, the off-field celebration earned him a booking from referee Kenny Clark. This tackle by Dunfermline's Hamish French set up Killy's third goal. Mark Roberts picked up the loose ball and planted it out of the reach of the goalkeeper. 3-2 now, six minutes left. Roberts showed the pace to get away from the defence and Westwater couldn't react quickly enough either. In the end, Killy could have stolen a point and protected their unbeaten run. Holtz cross, Ali Mitchell's header, and a great reflex saved by Westwatcher. 3-2, a much-needed win for the Fifers.